From downtown Scranton, this is Northeast Current with John Baldino. PAC 64 WQPX invites you to join John and his guests as they explore public affairs, current events, and arts and culture in northeastern and central Pennsylvania. Now, let's meet today's guests on Northeast Current. Welcome to Northeast Current. I'm John Baldino, and today we welcome a new face to PAX TV 64. Jeff Casella is the host and the producer of Pioneer's Playbook, a new sports show premiering very soon here on PAX. Actually, Jeff, it's premiering on uh, the 10th of April. 10th of April, 10.30 a.m. Uh, we'll be on no matter what happens. Uh, <laughs> we're actually going to start our tapings on Monday, uh, April 5th, which is couple of days from now. A couple of days from now, yes. Oh, yeah. So uh, we're a little bit excited, a little bit anxious, and can't wait to get it out there. Now, it's the Pioneer's Playbook, but it's not about uh, people in covered wagons. No, it's no. We're, we're a show totally about the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Pioneers. Mm -hmm. um, they have just a new look all the way around. Even their pregame shows have are going to have pyrotechnics and wow. all these. They have a great dance team this year. Uh, uh, the new president, Dave Berryman, just has overhauled their whole program, and now we have a coaches show, which is pretty much what we're going to be talking about. Uh, everything with the coaches week, and you know uh, the previous games and games in the future. So it'll be you and Les Moss, the head coach, correct, on a good portion of the shows. Yes, and uh, we'll also have members of the football team, mm -hmm. uh, and also m members of the Pony Express, which is their dance team, and I mean, it's just going to be so many people coming in to uh, doing different kinds of interviews uh, with their medical team, everything, so. Wow, it sounds gonna like it'll be, be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a I can't wait. Now, know. for those who might not know, the Pioneers are Wilkes-Barre Scranton's arena football team. Correct. Now, what is the difference between arena football and what we all know as regular old football? Well, uh, arena football, the easiest way I have to explain it is back in the 70s and 80s, I could just picture a guy at a big football game and sitting back, looking back, and going, hmm, that's pretty neat. And then going to a hockey game and going, huh, let's see if we could put a football game onto a hockey, hockey rink. Arena. And, okay. And they figured out a way to do it, and it's it's catching on very well right now. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but a hockey rink is not 100 yards long, well, right? Not even it, it's, close. it's a lot smaller. Yeah, okay. not even close. Probably closer to 50, 50 or 60 yards. So you length. really had to scale the game down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, it's just, it's more compressed, but then again, it's easier to watch because it's so fast and there's yeah. always something happening. There's uh, the scoring, I mean, if your team allows 30 points in the NFL, you're like, oh, oh no, we're going to lose. But in AFL or in AFL 2, which is where the Pioneers are, uh -huh. uh, that it's pretty much normal to give up that many points, but you know, you Still just hope that your, your team scores 50 some points and uh, it's, it's a much faster paced game. and. It's it's just so much fun to watch it and to see them out there. Stupid question from a, a non-sports type guy. <laughs> what do they play on? Is it artificial turf? It's is artificial it turf. On it's top of? Correct. Is there uh, any kind of padding? Or I mean, it's got to hurt. Well, no, no. They have a they have like a, a wood uh, underneath okay. it. Not yeah, over the ice. The same, the same thing that they use for the concerts. Okay. Uh, when they have a concert there, they put it over the ice, and then right. they roll a big carpet over, over that. Uh, that's pretty much the football field. Wow. Uh, yeah, I would love to have that carpet for a tailgate party, <laughs> but you know, it's a different, different thing. But it's just so much fun. It's like you just look at it, and when they go from one night being a hockey game, next night you go in there, it's set up for and football. It's a football field. That's, and it's it, amazing. they just do an amazing job at the arena, Wachovia Arena in Wilkes-Barre. Just outstanding, but they do. Uh, I was there for a, a hockey game, and the following week I was there for a concert, and mm -hmm. it was like walking into two different places. It's oh. unbelievable what they oh, can do. Yeah, yeah, it, and they have the everything going on there between monster oh, yeah. trucks and all this stuff. I'm like, uh, uh, dirt on ice is not good, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're going to be taping every Monday, but your first taping is actually this coming Monday, April five. Correct. April, April fifth. Yeah, April fifth. Five. Five o'clock. And it's it's easy to remember. The fifth April at five, five at five. You know. Uh, five. And anybody who wants to is w welcome to wander in and watch the taping, right? Yeah, and we tape it every Monday, five o'clock from the Woodlands Left Bank Lounge, which is down in the back by mm -hmm. the patio. 
And anybody that wants to come down could come down. We're going to have shows that we're going to tape next to the pool. We're going to have shows nice. that we tape out on the patio. Uh, it's, it's just going to be the thing. We'll be in that general area, uh -huh. so you'll be able to find us, but we might be outside. Look for the, the large crowd of people in the TV cameras. That's it. And me. I mean, I, <laughs> like between myself and Coach Les Moss, we're hard to miss. You stand so out in the crowd? We're both big guys. We're both really <laughs> big guys. Uh, I always I said at the one meeting that the reason why they wanted me for this is because I can make Coach Les Moss look small. So uh, he looks. <laughs> That's a lot why I wasn't asked to host the show, <laughs> folks. Yeah, you, oh my, uh, you, we look, we must look like the perfect ten right now. I'm the zero, <laughs> you're the one. But uh, no, we, it's just going to be a lot of fun. I mean, I, I have a comedy background, so mm -hmm. everything we do is gonna have it's gonna have to make me go oh that was great yeah or, oh that was fun or this yeah. seems like it'll be fun so. and I understand you're picking up the bar tab for everybody who shows up uh, actually you are <laughs> oh, um, oh I, uh, I I forgot to tell you that that was uh, that was part of is that why you asked for my plan. American Express before the show uh, well I I asked for the American Express but I swiped the visa you oh know. great I, you know, I did it <laughs> higher limit on that one <laughs> yeah exactly that was silver <laughs> uh, you know that's that's all I uh, all I could think of, you know, was trying to trying to do something for the fans down there. So we're actually going to have giveaways down there. Oh, really? Well, not drinks. free drinks, by the way. Not, not actually free drinks. Free drinks. Uh, but we'll have giveaways. Uh, there's a couple of different things that we have in the making right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're working with a few different places to sponsor us and sponsor different segments of the program. So, and that's pretty much what we want to get out there is it's going to be fun. We're just going to have a good time. You were telling me in the green room before we went on about an interesting little segment of the show. You're actually going to be doing on location at the arena. Oh, Tell correct. me a little more about that. Uh, well, every game, uh, before the game, uh, myself and a girl from their promo team, Natalie, are going to be outside. And the thing is, I'll be the ugly guy next to the gorgeous woman and uh, with the microphone in my hand. And we're gonna ask the fans to give questions for Coach Moss. Uh, a few questions will be selected for Coach Moss to uh, answer mm -hmm. during the program. So uh, you might get on TV that way. You won't even have to go there and you might weasel in on TV. But like you I, I better have game. you there. I wanna <laughs> see the faces out in the crowd, but I, it's something that this area has never, ever done before. Mm -hmm. And uh, we wanna, be the first and be aggressive and go out there and be as aggressive as the pioneers are on on Saturday nights so uh, we just hope to be have a winning team <laughs> is the team excited about it oh there I, I was at the practice today and there were uh, five of the guys there that I was talking with about this three of them are going to be on the first show and another ten guys are going when's that at what when, when, when can we come down <laughs> they all want to be on TV they all like and they love being around the kids and signing the autographs yeah so that's fun that's all the fun stuff that's great sounds like some great stuff happening it's going to be every saturday at 10 30 in the morning right here on wqpx tv 64. jeff cassell is the host the show is pioneers playbook that's going to wrap it up for this segment of northeast current when we return the traveling comedy troupe one laugh at least more to come as northeast current continues after this stay tuned